I've had a few people reach out to me on the IKEA Besta TV stand and how it can be modified to hold the VAVA projector. So I'm going to show you how I did that. So what you're looking at here is the Besta TV stand. Now mine is wall mounted. Uh, it does not have the legs, so it's floating. And what I did was I kept both doors for the Besta, but in the middle, I've modified the drawer so that it's using some new uh, hardware slides that I purchased, fully extendable hardware slides, and the projector sits on top of it. And there is a 120 inch Telon screen that sits right above it. What you'll notice with the with this setup is that you can actually take this drawer and move it in and out. Now, as I'm doing that, you can see that the picture is obviously getting bigger or larger. So this allows me to control the size of the picture. So it took a little finagling to get it exactly right to, um, to get it aligned with the screen. So one of the first things that I did was made sure I put the projector on here um, and then measured accordingly in terms of how far out would I need to go to achieve the 120 inch screen. The dimensions of my IKEA hack that a lot of people are doing now, which is essentially to put the VAVA projector on a sliding shelf. Now, you can certainly use a lot of the stuff that's out of the box that comes with the IKEA Vesta stand, but um, I found that uh, a couple of things you can upgrade to make it a little bit better. So, this is the Vesta stand. Both sides that you see here with doors are just simply the hinge doors. Now in the middle, um, what I've done is actually bought uh, 14 inch sliders um, from a company called Bloom, B-L-U-M, -B Bloom. Now you don't have to use them. There are other undermount sliders that are available in the 14 inch range. And just make sure you get the heavy duty ones, but I'll show you uh, how this was mounted. But first of all, you can see how it, um, the Besta comes in flush, right? So you're just going to pull this out and that can fully extend. Now the difference is with the IKEA drawer slides that come here, they do not fully extend. They only extend about two thirds, maybe not even of the way. So what you're going to get is you're going to get something like this with the IKEA one. Now the problem is that you've got these vents here on the side and you definitely want to have nice airflow because this is where the exhaust is coming out from the VAVA projector and you don't want to block this. This is going to cause heat issues and it's going to overheat the unit. So this is why I went with the fully extension one. Uh, a couple of notes. So this is a just a custom shelf. Um, the dimensions on the shelf are, so you can see here, uh, the shelf I cut custom uh, it's about um, 14 and three quarter is the length on the shelf. Um, but what we can do is you can actually buy this from Home Depot. It comes in, I believe, eight foot lengths, maybe even six foot lengths. And it's a three quarter shelving. Uh, I believe they call it the melamine, which is the, the white material that you see on here. Now, so you can get it, you can have them cut it at the store but what you're gonna get is obviously you're gonna get the particle board or the uh, what's in here um, is gonna be basically raw wood and exposed. So how do you fix that? Well, you buy something called edge banding and edge banding is simply looks like a tape and you can get it in white, you can get it in different colors and you're gonna apply it here. You're just gonna put it on top and just take an iron and there's a glue underneath it. And when you apply the, the heat, it's gonna stick on here. So you're going to get this nice uh, covered edge on it. Now, sometimes the, the three quarter is a little bit bigger. So there are little tools that you can get that you can cut the excess off uh, and it just slides along like with a little razor blade. Now, certainly you can also use a knife to, to cut that as well. You don't need to buy the tool, but the tool just makes it a little bit easier. So I wanted to show you the the slides here though, the slides are the, what is most important here. You can see that I followed basically a hole pattern um, that is already existing in the Besta shelf. So I went from one, two, three, four, I, think, I believe I started with the fifth 
one and I simply aligned it with an existing hole that's already in the cabinet on the side um, and then I just mounted it across. So it's important that you get, uh, you make that level. So just draw a line, maybe get a level and go from one end to the other. Now, the one thing to point out on the Besta is that uh, Ikea is always looking to reduce costs. So there is no solid wood in the middle between those, uh, between the white panel there. So there's only going to be wood right uh, and it ends just about here. So there's gonna be basically some solid wood here and on the other side, same thing, about, I'd say about two inches, two or three inches in. So the point of that is, is if, you're, if you're actually putting screws into the side, you gotta make sure you try to hit those ends. Otherwise, you're not gonna get um, as good of a mount on the actual drawer slides. So that's just a little little tip on that. But uh, yeah, these are simply easy to, really easy to install, uh, not much to them. Um, you can watch tons of videos on how to install them. Um, the other dimension I think people wanted to know was how far across this was. So let me just check here. And you can see here, whoops, the dimension is about 21 and an eighth. Yeah, so it's 21 and an eighth inches this way. And I believe we said it was about 14 um, and three quarter inches uh, depth that way. So, but you can see here it, uh, it mounts in nicely and then you can uh, simply fold that in. Now, another thing to note with this drawer slide is that no matter whatever heavy duty slide you get, there will always be a bit of a sag that just from the weight of anything on here, right? And this unit is a little bit heavy. So what that means is that you're gonna get a downward slope coming down here. Now you have these little adjusters here. So what to compensate for that is you can actually raise these up. So on both sides, there are little sliders and that's gonna raise the front of the unit up like this. So, but the best, what I would say with that approach is just take a look at your screen. Look at the screen and play with the settings until you get it right. So you're going to have to play with these. You're also going to have to play with the uh, controls on the TV to, um, to get the skew correctly. But that's what you're going to get. You're just going to have to work with it to get the right picture on your screen. So hopefully this helps. Take care.